Okay, what I'm wanting to show here is my replication of the Lynx Jewel Lamp. And what I want to point out is, is on my primary I've got 42 winds of 20 gauge bell wire. And right now I'm running this off of a 12 volt battery and I'm using all 42 winds. This is a 1 amp amp meter. And right now it's it's reading maybe 120 milliamps, something like that. Uh, but as I move, I've got taps every three, every three turns. So if I go from 42 to 39, uh, it looks to be about the same amp draw. I'm going to go to the 36. It's going up a little bit. It's maybe about 150 milliamps now. Let's go to the 33. And I'm a little over 200 milliamps, maybe about 210. Let's go to the 30. And now I'm getting close to uh, maybe 275, 280, something like that. At 27, I'm, I'm up just a little bit over 300 milliamps. Okay, here we are at 24. And now I'm, looks like maybe 375, something like that. Uh, Let's, let's go to the 21, and at 21 turns, I cannot light the CFL. So let's, let's jump back here to where, let's go right here, to where I'm drawing, looks like about 110, 120 milliamps maybe again. And this is something I found very interesting. Uh, I've got a Lights of America LED, 120 volt LED, and this is a Fiat LED. Let's hook, let's hook uh, the Lights of America. Wow! But notice the amp draw; it's, it just went way past one amp. Let's let's disconnect that. Notice the uh, CFL also turned off. Uh, Let's, let's hook up the Fiat. Notice the amp meter also goes, goes over one amp. Let's turn both of them on. The Fiat looks to be just a little bit dimmer than when it's running by itself, but the lights